one point in time, 10% of the entire population of the U.S. and Canada passed through White River Junction. I got to watch it sort of sinking slowly. Every few months, something else would close. There was a J.J. Newbury's, it closed. There was a furniture store, it closed. There was a clothing store, it closed. White River Junction always had, it was in the middle of this region, but it always kind of had this reputation of being the rotten middle. I've heard it called the junk. It used to be a rougher place, more of a rough, roughneck, redneck type of town. You know what I mean? A couple little hole-in-the-wall bars, a lot of fights and stuff, but now it's more posh. So how does a town remake itself and go from roughneck to posh? There are a lot of places like White River Junction. Industry dies out, nothing comes to take its place, and that's it. But the story played out differently here. And it all started with one guy. The biggest dreamer of White River Junction is David Briggs. He's been a great inspiration to many of us. We believed that this little burg had a future because of the things that surround it. The intersection of two interstate highways, proximity to the megapolis, the Vermont brand. We thought any small town in North Dakota would give their right arm for these kind of aspects. For a while, it was David Briggs sort of trying his best to bring back the life and excitement that really left when railroading became a much smaller piece of the regional economy. I walked in with my little sketchbook. I was this little artist, this skinny little artist. And I wandered in, and they, they looked at my little black sketchbook and looked at me. And they said, what the f*** are you? And I said, I'm an artist. David Fairbanks Ford, a stalwart of White River from Vermont, which I think helps a lot. He was an artist in New York for a little while and then came back. And he has brought his own quirky Main Street Museum. David tackled a building that just really didn't have a clear future. And he not only made it into a museum, he made it into a really unique one that helps synergize uh, all these themes of creativity. The deer really is wonderful. So this is a deer that is a white tail. It was uh, taken in Vermont and part of it's taken in Canada. Uh, and he's wearing around his neck right now the first stole, the silver fox stole that belonged to Elizabeth Taylor. It's got her monogram on it. Um, it just sort of went together, so we put the fox around the deer. It all just sort of gelled. Every year in Angoulême, France, it's like the biggest comic festival in the world, they put together their list of essentials. And one of them this year is called White River Junction. You'd just be walking down the street and you'd see some great cartoonist, uh, uh, you know, Seth walking down the street. It'd be like, you know, going into like a tiny little village at film school and every other week you see Francis Ford Coppola or Steven Spielberg walking down the street. Having a higher education anchor is incredibly powerful for a community to be able to grow and sustain through difficult times. Students are living and working downtown, so, so most of them are shopping locally and spending locally, renting locally. And that sort of economic stimulus is what this town needed. We have reinvented ourselves, and we're going to have that other problem of governing the speed with which it goes so we don't lose our soul on the other side of the ledger. I think the grittiness is always going to be there because you have this big noisy machine that rolls through the middle of town all the time. I've been here a long time and it still like takes my breath away when the trains slam into each other. You don't, you, no one tells you it's going to happen, it just suddenly, boom! And you're like, oh my god. And everything shakes, the lights rattle, dust falls out of the ceiling. It's like a little earthquake. That's never going to go away. When it comes down to it, that's what people want is they want an authentic place. They don't want a picture-perfect place. Um, they want a place that feels real. <laughs>